You cold? Good morning, Milton. Good morning, Tevin. Billy, why y'all not out here in the snow? Making snowballs. That's what I want to know. Sharon, come get your snow. We are out here. I am, look at Ripley. Y'all see Ripley? I am out here in the good old state of Georgia in the ATL where y'all are having a little major snowstorm, okay? So, there we are all lined up waiting for the people in Atlanta to come to work, okay? Because See, the people from up north, like Chicago, Illinois, from New Jersey, from uh, Wisconsin, from Michigan, all these people, they know how to handle the uh, snow. But down here in Atlanta, everybody went to the house. Everybody that live in Atlanta is at home, okay? It's only us out here trying to get y'all stuff deliver it to y'all so we lined up all we need y'all to do is come on out here and open the doors so we can get unloaded but i don't have to get unloaded i'm a dropping hook so we've been here all night waiting for the atlanta residents to come to work okay <laughs> we all out here working so we need y'all to come so y'all can unload these trucks so we could get on out of here. But um, let's see. They said they're gonna be here at 10 o'clock tonight. I mean, 10 o'clock this morning, okay? So they're on their way in. They said somebody is gonna come in about 10 o'clock so we can uh, start getting unloaded and moving on. But um, right now, nobody's here but the security guard. Nobody's here but the security guard. So, the, the strange thing is, you know, when you in Chicago and Minnesota and Pennsylvania and all those different places, when you, when you up there, you see all the snow plows, all the people doing, putting salt down and all kinds of things and the road is clear and things like that. But when you come to Atlanta, Georgia, they ain't got no salt. <laughs> they ain't got no salt. They ain't trying to clear no roads. They ain't used to all this. So, you know, we, we kind of used to this. So everybody went home. Nobody is working. Come on now. Y'all got to come out here and get some of this too, okay? Don't let us be the only ones out here. Y'all know y'all need y'all produce. Y'all need y'all groceries. Y'all need y'all water. Y'all need all y'all supplies, so you can't get them if y'all don't come to work. But, uh, yeah, there's Ripley. I'm not too much worried about him because ain't nobody coming down the street. But they got reefers running. We all trying to get unloaded. So I think we got like a uh, maybe an hour and a half. And hopefully, she said, somebody will be here. All I need for them to do is yeah uh this is uh amerigo you know kroger built that new warehouse so kroger moved to their new warehouse and amerigo americo home took over so we're sitting out here over here in east point georgia trucks are lined up we are ready to get unloaded good thing is i got plenty of fuel so i've been idling my truck all night because I don't want nothing to get uh, frozen, but I got plenty of fuel, got a little snow there, but this is where I parked last night, so, but other than that, we're dressed warm, put on you some long johns, layer up, get you some non-slip shoes, and let's go, Atlanta, what's going on? Come on out the house and get these trucks unloaded, okay? 
Get you some long johns. Get you some nice slip, some slip resistant boots. Okay, everybody at the warehouse, come on so we can get these trucks unloaded and get on our way. No, they not prepared. Georgia ain't prepared at all, honey. They don't even sell boots in Georgia, okay? They don't even sell. Ain't nobody got a shovel in Georgia, okay? They are not prepared. You go on the highway on 285, on 85, on 75. You know how y'all go to Pennsylvania and you see all the snow trucks and they putting up the salt and they waiting to clear the uh, highway and stuff like that? That's not happening over here in Georgia, okay? They was not ready. There's nobody out there. I didn't hardly see. When I came in last night, I didn't hardly see anybody out there putting out no salt, clearing no roads. But the good thing, the amazing thing is they was prepared to be at the house, okay? So they told everybody to go home early, get off the road, and things like that. So that's the best thing that they could have ever did because it could be a whole lot worse especially with uh atlanta traffic and things like that so really there is nobody and nothing out here but us truck drivers okay but you know these drivers they drive in worse weather this is like i-80 this is like wyoming okay wyoming looks just like this okay so and it's going up north uh, it's going up north so um, I suppose to pick up in a few once I get finished with here I gotta drive an hour over to uh, come in Georgia and um, I gotta drive an hour over to come in Georgia and pick up a load and then I should be heading up to uh, uh, Chicago let me see where Ripley at cause here come this car Ripley Come here. Oh, they ain't coming all the way down here. But yeah, get on now. Get your little snow gear on. Make you some snowmen, women. But all the trucks over here are covered. And we just all waiting until 9 o'clock. I mean, 10 o'clock. So that somebody can come in and... Um, so somebody can come in and um, get us unloaded, sign our paperwork so I can go. I don't have an appointment. All I got to do is drop this trailer, pick up an empty trailer, and be on the way. But they got to come in because these are reefers, so they got a lot of reefers that they got running. So, you know, you got to make sure that they got fuel in it. Now, I heard up there at the Petro... I heard up there at the um, Petro that um, they are having problems getting in and out or they can't get out because there's so many trucks in there. But um, y'all, it don't look like it's getting no better. This is a little bit worse than it was last night. Uh, it did stop snowing for a little bit of time last night. But when I woke up this morning, it was back at it. So, But the good thing about it is there's not a lot of traffic on the road and everybody has taken heed to the weather and has um, been inside and not on the road so they I don't think they're having too many you know incidents or things like that out here so that's a good thing so if you don't have to be out here if you're not driving a 18 wheeler <laughs> Yeah, it's a good chance you should be at home, but I don't think anybody kind of like prepare for this, you know But um, but yeah, if you ain't got to be out here. It's the weekend enjoy your uh, Weekend at the house Play some spades some dominoes Get the fire burning Play some Christmas songs put up the Christmas tree Decide what y'all gonna eat for Christmas make your new year's resolutions and uh we'll be out here taking care of just about everything else okay so i'll let y'all know how it goes but yeah i'll let y'all know what I, what the update is as far as us getting unloaded and out of here today but uh hopefully 
I meant to buy me some. Yesterday I was at Walmart and I meant to buy some boots at Walmart. But I just came on out there. I didn't believe when they told me, Sheree told me, she said it's snowing in Atlanta. I didn't believe she been like snowing, snowing for real. You know, I thought she was like, it's just a little snow. But child, this is, this ain't no joke. Oh, and the power is out, okay? People are losing power. So the, um, the lines are freezing. Um, the lines are freezing. The power lines are freezing. So some people are, are without power. So uh, I got my KLLM buddy down there. We got Roadrunner sitting over there. We got Celadon. You know, these are folks that come out here in the snow. We, we used to this, so. But other than that, y'all, I just wanted to come and let y'all know that, you know, we're up. We're trying to get unloaded. Uh, hopefully, somebody will be here at 10 o'clock, and I can get on out of here and go over to Cummins and uh, pick up my other load and head up to uh, Georgia. But uh, other than that, y'all, that's it. So, I'm going to go ahead and get back in the truck and wait till uh 10 o'clock and see if somebody come in huh rip rip how you like the snow huh you cold let me get him back on in the truck but i'll talk to y'all later bye